Welcome to the inaugural edition of My Top 5 here on JT Retro. This is episode 1, and today we are going to look at my top 5 Wii U games on the 3DS. And I'll start with number 5. So welcome to the inaugural program, and I'm going to do my top 5 3DS games that originated on the Wii U. So number 1, I have split them up into 5 categories. I'm going to start with some nostalgia. When this came out, it came out on the Wii U first, and it gave a lot of 8-bit goodness to us in HD. But it made a lot of mini-games out of classic NES games, and I love this compilation. Uh, the mini-games are excellent. They're very fun to play. And number 5, I'm going to give it to the Ultimate NES Remix. Of course, this was brought to the 3DS after the success of what was on the Wii U. Uh, looking back, it was uh, released in two DLC formats, uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2, on the, the Wii U. And then, of course, they did a compilation up for the 3DS. This game is so much fun. Uh, you have Zelda, Zelda 2, you have all the Super Mario Brothers, you have all the Nintendo titles made into mini games and the fun is never ending I mean and then you can unlock more that's the best part there's more to unlock so it has a lot of replay value uh, it's 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 very nostalgic uh, I got into Mike Tyson's punch out and uh, threw me back and uh, you know in 1987 that was a big game that came out on that home console and the graphics were phenomenal in 8-bit uh, I can remember the first time I met Mike Tyson the proper way without the code and uh, I was shaken I couldn't get that controller to stop shaking and of course I went down in the first round but eventually thanks to the code uh, I was able to beat Mike Tyson in the second round so it is somewhat in a virtual world some bragging rights so that is number five uh, the next one is a very fun open world hack and slash I love this game I love the franchise that it pays homage to uh, the folks at uh, Koei Temco did an excellent job with the IP um, and number four I'm giving it to Hyrule Warriors of course this one is Legends but it contains all the goodness of the Wii U game plus uh, a lot of the DLC that came with it afterwards this is an excellent game it's an awesome game to take on the road with you in such a small little console but it's a large game. It's huge, and there's a lot of surprises, and action is non-stop. Phenomenal game. Uh, Zelda, I have a rich history with Zelda. Um, I go back to my first Zelda game was actually Zelda 2, and some people consider it the black sheep of the family, but I really put a lot of hours into that game, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. It was an excellent game. So when this came out, and it was a joint partnership uh, between two developing uh, companies to bring one massive title especially from the Dynasty Warriors uh, franchise and to incorporate Nintendo's IP into that uh, it's excellent I'm glad they released it on 3DS uh, it's fantastic to take on any road trip any business trip uh, to occupy your time while you're traveling in transit what have you excellent game uh, the next one falls under the puzzle category and kind of rides on the success of Super Mario World 3D from the Wii U, but it had its own title, a standalone, it's Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Yet again, another masterful uh, video game. It's so large, and since this released on the 3DS, as well as the new Switch, um, they've added more levels uh, inspired by Super Mario Odyssey on the Switch, so... This is an excellent game for a puzzle. It, it's got a lot of action. Uh, there are times you just get on the end of your seat trying to figure out the last move to make in order to complete each level. I love this game. The graphics are phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's ported to a less powered system, but they did it so much justice. And the playability is still every bit as good on the 3DS as it is on the Wii U. So... I love this game, and for a puzzle game, which I do appreciate puzzle games I have since Tetris came out, uh, this is phenomenal, and I am so glad that this was brought over to the 3DS. Now, the Adventure Series. 
when you think Nintendo, you think back to Super Mario Brothers 1. That defined the action platform, the 2D platformer. I love those styles of games. Uh, I am a long, long time Mega Man fan. I have been since 1988. The first Mega Man game I bought was Mega Man 2. Since then, I've of course embraced Mega Man 1 and have played pretty much every Mega Man game that has been made. But I love the action games. I love platforming games, 2D, 2.5D, what have you. This one here in particular, I am a big fan of, and I love Yoshi's Woolly World. This is a fantastic game. As an action platformer, it is so much fun. And there is some puzzles in there to discover. There's hidden places, hidden uh, treasures to find. And it, it's a, such a delight to play. The graphics translated very well from the HD Wii U down to... Uh, a 3DS. I love this game and uh, we're going to take a second right now and do a little comparison because I mean they did such a fantastic job it's worth looking at. Such a fantastic game. Uh, it's a large game as well. A really great adventure. Uh, when you look at the Switch now and the success that it has brought both to the home console and the portability of, what, of, of it as well. Uh, and Yoji's Crafted World is such a fantastic game too. Each game they seem to raise the bar each time. So I'm glad, very glad that they were ported it over to a 3DS. Because I think it's a fantastic game and deserves to be uh, available on the go as well as in your home. Last but not least, I figured we'd finish with a fighting game, and when you think fighting, and you think Nintendo IP, you also think third party, and you think of many different surprise fighters. Uh, this is the first version that was ever released on a portable gaming system, but it was released at the same time, simultaneously, as the Wii U edition. All the characters, level design, everything is right to a T. HD versus 3DS, of course, but this game is loaded. Uh, yeah, I select Mega Man as my fighter. That's that's a given. Uh, this game is fantastic. Uh, the list of characters that is available on here to play, uh, the playability is just phenomenal. Uh, the replayability is absolutely right up there again. Phenomenal. This game is fantastic, and I think uh, to start off with such a great collection, there's a lot of great Wii U games that were ported over um, but this one is a must-have uh, especially if you love fighting games there's no limits to this and the amount of characters that you can play as and the amount of characters that uh, is offered in this uh, it's unbelievable I mean really the only variation of, of a Smash Brothers game that would be any better would be Smash Brothers Ultimate now available on Switch but this game is fantastic so uh, the five that I suggested they're my personal five uh, they're very big games. They're home console games that they ported over to the 3DS. I think they're fantastic. Uh, if you're going to start a 3DS collection, I highly recommend these five games to start off with. Uh, honorable mention, I'd like to shout one out to uh, Super Mario Maker. Uh, the Mario franchise, you always wonder how far can they take it from 2D to 2.5D with Super Paper Mario on Wii to 3D from N64 on. Uh, so many great titles, and then they come out with Super Mario Maker that allows you to produce your own levels. 
why wouldn't it get an honorable mention? I, it, it, the replay value of that game is just unlimited. It's in, it's infinite. So, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this uh, of my top five, I am the real JT. Please like, subscribe, uh, like the video, subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit the bell for notifications each time a video comes up. Uh, this channel is growing uh, because of you, and we appreciate that. So any more help that you can give us would be great. Uh, expect new episodes this spring of Metal Detecting with Jesse. Uh, playing with Jesse will continue with a new episode very soon. And so much more. Uh, Vehicle Force is a force to be reckoned with. It's a classic, so keep watching those episodes. Keep commenting on those episodes. I'm learning from each comment on those episodes. And help this channel grow because we really appreciate everything that you do for us. And we love doing stuff for you, producing content like this. So hats off, Nintendo. You produce a great system every time. Uh, the titles that you produce for those systems are phenomenal. And uh, I look forward to seeing what else Nintendo comes up with in the very near future. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, this is the real JT, the one and only, signing off.